the hands all together and we'll all be a happy family. Oh, hi, welcome back to the channel. I thought it'd just be interesting to uh, share a little bit of the information that I've uh, found out about this little CRT monitor and what equipment it came from originally or may well have been used in um, and to direct really to another video uh, by another YouTuber so I'll put links to that um, because uh, I've got some pictures of a door phone system from his video so uh, you can see what sort of thing this came from now the one he's got isn't exactly the same as this the component layout's a bit different but it's basically a, a very similar set up and he actually takes a CRT out which I haven't done with mine I don't want to uh, risk damaging anything but uh, he takes a CRT out and looks at the other side so you can actually see the type of the uh, CRT and um, also the little camera that went with it he had the camera which uh, used a, um, a chip solid state camera but uh, this was just after the turn of the century so displays lcd displays were still not very good and uh, it was still worth using a crt to get a decent display uh, in place of uh, lcd and yeah but well, i think this was about 2003 i think mine is earlier by a couple of years because there seems to be a date on this transformer on mine which uh, suggests it's 2001 or 2002 it's not quite clear what um so that dates it really to just after the turn of the century uh, they probably came in around about the 90s so yeah they're probably most of them are around about coming up to 25 years old now and so we'll go on now to have a little look at some of the pictures from uh, his youtube video so there is the phone with the unit installed inside it and there we have the uh, the internals of it as you can see that unit slightly different layout to mine the chips in a different place um, the connection for the power is on the left instead of at the bottom and the components are slightly laid out differently and here again is a quick look at mine you see that the power comes in at the bottom here and not the side here and uh, the chip is tucked away under under here just at the edge there rather than uh, on the right hand side sideways on on this one there we are that chip is now over here and the supply in there so that's basically the outside layout now in his video as you'll see if you take a look at it he actually takes the tube out and looks at the back of it and finds there's a label on it so there's the label on the back of the tube and it's got the type of the tube the serial number and it's a Samsung tube so that's quite an interesting uh, thing to look for as well so anyway those are the uh, pictures and i will uh, provide a link to the video youtuber is diode gone wild diode gone wild so there we are the video links below was by uh, Diode Gone Wild and uh, take a look at that one and check out some of his other videos if you like and uh, say it's very interesting to uh, to find out how these things were used so 
anyway i will be moving on soon to be to the audio side of this i'm just going to use the regulator chip some capacitors to drive a little amplifier and two speakers and uh, then we'll see if it works well with the sound and speaker system then i'll think about how i'm going to enclose, enclose that in some kind of uh, some kind of box so that's it for now and uh, we'll catch you in the next one so bye for now Things are happy songs together, fill the air with harmony. Things are happy songs together, that's the song to choose. But we'll sing away the blues, keep the heart strings humming, there's a good time coming, it will keep on humming.